Okay, here we've got our uh, aircraft instrument display with a square LCD. It's actually a TCAS display for older aircraft that don't have uh, the glass cockpits. It's sort of like an add-on. Although this particular unit has been converted into a TCRD display, which is something to do with helicopters. I think it's Torque Cruise something or other. I'm not sure. But it's got the same 41 pin connector as a TCAS unit. The only difference is the software that's inside. There's an ambient light sensor on the front. And here's the details. So I think we'll take it apart and have a look. See what's inside. So, well, looking at that, ain't gonna be 28 volts, it's gonna be uh, 115. So, I don't think I'm gonna better power this thing up. Yeah, the pulse will buy it back there. It's 115 volts, 400 hertz, so I'm not going to be able to power it up. Right, take some of these boards out. Screw out this shit, find a better one. Uh, Uh, the sun's coming out. Right. Yeah, there's a bit of a shadow here. That's, Difficult because I'm in the all white. Uh, right, see how these boards come out then. Looks like. Yeah, they just pull out. Uh, so we've got on this one then. Some of the chips have got the top sanded off, so you can't tell what they are. Alteria CPLD. Uh, date code 1997 on that one. Hmm. Quality is not that good. Uh, better. H. What is it? H one. H I four P. Uh, Hmm. 
Oh. Cards are a bit sticky. Yeah, that's across the board. Another CPLD. Text Instruments uh, Digital Signal Processor. Actually, no, it's not. It's uh, a 32 bit microprocessor with uh, built in 2D graphics features. It was actually used on several arcade systems and uh, a graphics accelerator board for Commodore machines, as well as graphics accelerator cards for PCs. So it's quite a capable chip. It can't do 3D graphics. This was used as a symbol generator to generate all the uh, graphics required for the LCD display. It's a very early GPU. Hmm. What else have we got? Some RAM. Yeah, firmware. That would be 128k of memory, or flash memory, I think. 256 bits, and there's four of them, so 128k. This thing is actually a uh, TCAS display for aircraft that don't have the um, glass cockpits, so it's like uh, an add-on for older aircraft. But this one's got modified firmware to turn it into a TCRD display, which I think it's something to do with helicopters, to measure the tail rotation vibrations or something like that. I'm not really sure, uh, but the only difference between this and TCAS display is the firmware. Uh, Normally on a modern aircraft, the TCAS information would be on the uh, main instrument displays, but an older aircraft that just have dial instruments, this would be an add on for it. Uh, it would typically fit to Boeing 7400 series, something like that. That might be a processor. Uh, More chips that have got the top standard off. Those are likely to be uh, our Inc. 429 to first chips, I guess. If anyone has any insights on what a TCRD display is, uh, I'd like to know, but Googling it, I think it's, like I say, it's something to do with measuring engine vibrations or vibrations on the tail rotor. Uh, that's power module. I wonder if... No. Power supply module drops it down to 28 volts, so I might better power it up. There's no indication on the uh, what voltages it outputs. So, look at that one. Yeah, not much to see in that. Adjustment pots. Yeah, you can see the rectifier there. Interested to see what voltage it is. Hmm. 
Mm. This backboard. That one don't want to come out. Because it is attached. No, it's not. Goes to the back point, so that should pull out. Oh, my bad. Blood. Now this screw don't want to come out. Just bear with me. Right, well I can't get that screw out. It just slipped and fell onto the floor. So, um, seems to have survived. But there's nothing really in there apart from just a transformer. Yeah, it's just a DC. Well, that's probably the re that's rectifiers on that board. So it looks like some sort of transformers. But either way, I don't have a screwdriver that fits that screw. Let's take the front apart. Yeah, it's a good job I just didn't rip the front off because this ribbon cable would have torn. I've actually come across a service manual for this thing. Well, installation manual. Well, for the TCRD version, uh, uh, sorry, the um, TCAS version, it does actually uh, tell you the pinout on the back cover. Whilst it was paused, I uh, had a quick look on the internet and I managed to actually straight away find something on it. It does need 115 volts, so. Careful not to rip that. Mm. So that pulls off. Something stopping it. Is it this? Ah, screw. And then go spang about woman. Destroy that, but these wires are going to have to be undone. Let's see inside that. So get this metal cover off. Right, it's now in two pieces. It plugs in there. That's 
it's upside. Right, that's just fallen out. I don't know where that's come from. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Take that. Goes on there. Oh, well, connect to there. Not seen anything like that before. Mm -hmm. Right, I've undone all these little screws. There we go. Whoa. Well, that is interesting. That's actually the back of the LCD panel. That's your backlight. Let's get that out without damaging it. fluorescent bulb well, that is this is just the inverter board uh, so more than a fluorescent bulb uh, that's your backlight assembly uh, and that's your actual LCD panel Interesting. Not really much else to look at, really. Uh, it's a pity I can't power it up, make it do something. But, um, right, so I suppose I better put it back together. Just before we do that, here's a close up of that board. Uh, get the focus. What do we have the ICL eighty forty eight? Yep, ICL eighty forty eight B C J E. Hmm, cool. Oh, and this thing, it's uh, a heater that goes around the front to get rid of condensation. Put the same we put back together. Well, there's anything else we can look at there. Yeah, I've already covered. I'll rotate it round so you can have a good look. What I'll do is I'll take some photos of those boards, try and identify what those chips are and then uh, put them in the video. Well, I think that just about concludes it. I was expecting to find a bit more inside there, but it's really just indicator display. Um, symbol generators built into it that I can figure out. Like I say, that's the only difference between the TCAS version and the TCRD version is the firmware. It just alters the symbols. It should on the LCD. That's, that's all it is. Um, but yeah, that kind of wraps it up for now. I'll uh, add some more details down below. 
and I'll uh, take some photos and put them on my blog as well. Thanks for watching.